Hello guys, we looked on how to calculate the quantity of steel in a slab and today we want to look at how to calculate the quantity of steel that we need in a column. So we are going to calculate the length that we need for the reinforcement bars and we are also going to look at the startups that we need for that for the column. So stay with me if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and if you have subscribed thank you for for the support now let's look at our column that we are going to calculate the quantity of steel Our column is is of size 3.0 meters high. That is our height here. The height is 3.6 meters. And then the cross section of that column is 300 by 400 millimeters. And then we have clear cover, clear cover of 40 millimeters. This is our clear cover here of 40 millimeters. And then the number of vertical bars, these bars here, there are four. We have four vertical bars. And then the diameter of the vertical bars is 20 millimeters. So this one is 20 millimeters diameter. The diameter of the startups, these ones here, is 8 millimeters. And then the startup center are spaced at 150 millimeters center to center. So that is the data that you want to generate the quantity of steel in this square, sorry, in this rectangle column form. Now let's start by step one, the vertical bar calculation. So we want to get the vertical column, the vertical length of this steel bar that is from this point going down up to this, this point. So we have the length of one bar will be the height. Our height, remember, is 3600 and then plus LD. LD is the development length. This is our development. This is our development length. So Remember the development length from our previous video, the formula for the development length was 40 D, where D is the di diameter of that bar. So in this case, our length of one bar will be 3600, that is the height of the, the, the column, plus 40 times 20, whereby 20 is the, is the diameter. Tabulating that one is, gives us 4400 millimeters or 4.40 meters so that is the length of one vertical bar now this vertical bar going down here is 4.40 meters and remember we have four so our total length will be four times 4.40 giving us 17.6 meters long vertical bars will be required for that column of a section of 300 by 400 millimeters now since we have the vertical bar length now let's proceed and calculate the startups. Now for the startups, remember our cross section is 300 by 400 millimeter. So this is our startups here. That one going along like that. And this startups, it has hooks. Yeah. Remember that because when we have the startup, we have the startups with the hooks like that, like that, like that, yeah. So we want to calculate the length A. So this is our A and this is our, our B. So we want to calculate the length. It will be the horizontal distance, which is 300 minus two clear, two side clear cover. So our clear cover was 40 millimeters. That is clear cover. So it is 300 minus two times 40. That gives us 220 millimeters. So that is what we are going to use to calculate the cutting length of the startups. Let's proceed to length B. Length B, we have the vertical length that is 4,400 and then we subtract the clear cover that is two top and bottom. So we have the the top, the top here and the, and the bottom here. So tabulating that one is 400 minus 80, it will give us three, 320 millimeters. Now we proceed to the, to the number of startups. So these are our startups here. These ones. So how many do we need? 
how many startups do we need our height remember from here our height of the column sorry from here up to here was that 600 so to calculate the number of startups with the height of the column divided by spacing our spacing is 150 millimeters so tabulating that one we get we have 25 startups so bear in mind that our spacing is uniform throughout the the column now let's get the cutting of this one startup this one from here up to here going down there up so the length of that one startup so section a now the length that we are going to use after deducting the cover is 220 and then b is 320 so cutting cutting length of one startup will be 2 into a plus 2 sorry 2 times a plus 2 times b plus hook minus bend so that will be 2 times a plus 2 times b plus 2 times 10 d that is this is our hook now and then minus 5 times 2 2 d whereby 10 d is the hook and then 5 times 2 d is because we have five bends in one startup and then the diameter one d is the diameter so tabulating that one this is what we have tabulated and then it gives us 1160 millimeters or 1.16 meters so this is the length that we need for one startup this one we need 1.16 so how many startups did we have? We had 25 startups. So the total cutting length for this column, which is 3.6 meters height with a, a section of 300 by 400 millimeters, we need 1.16 by 25. That will give us 29 meters long, 8 millimeters bar. So guys, that is how we calculate the quantity of steel in columns. Until next time, bye-bye.